What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your very own intro for your YouTube channel for absolutely free without buying Adobe After Effects or Cinema 4D. Remember, if this tutorial helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, let's try to hit 100 likes, and also if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So we're going to be making our intro in a software called Blender, so you want to go on blender.org and just download it. Right now the newest version is 2.74. So I'm going to download that. Now keep in mind, this is completely free and safe, so don't worry about any viruses. So once you click the download button, you are going to be able to choose the version you want to download, whether it be the 64-bit or the 32-bit. I am going to download the 64-bit, and it's going to download an .exe file. So once it's done downloading, you just want to go ahead and click on it, and it is going to open up the installer. I'm just going to click yes, and then it's going to run through the setup. So I'm going to click next, agree to the terms, and if you want to add shortcuts you can keep these checked so I am I'm going to click next then just install it and it's going to install blender onto my computer all right so it looks like blender has been installed it's just finishing up right now and once it's finished you're just going to click on the finish button and it's going to run blender so just give it a second all right blender has opened up now what we're going to do is go ahead and find a blender intro template because since we just got the software a lot of you guys might not know how to use the software and what you can do to start off is just use a template and edit that as your intro and once you get better with blender you can start making your own intros as well so you can find tons of blender intro templates on youtube.com so we're just going to go on youtube and you can just search for blender intro templates so i'm just going to do that blender intro template and there's a lot by this one channel called ifres hd as you can see there's like top 60s top 10s and you can just browse through these templates and find one which you like so i'm just going to go and uh -oh, okay, we're just going to download number 60. So all the download links are in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and download it. It's going to open up and I'm just going to click download. Once the zip file has downloaded, you can extract it by right clicking it wherever it's downloaded and then clicking on extract files. I'm using WinZip and I'm just going to click OK. And now the folder should be extracted. So I'm going to find that folder. It was called intro template. And inside you're going to find a .blend file. So I'm just going to double click it and it should open up in Blender. Now it's really easy to change the text. Just zoom in with the scroll wheel, click, right click on the text, click tab, backspace out the text and change it to whatever you want. Now in this case, I have to change it twice. So what you can also do is go over here and select the layer of the text, click tab and then backspace it. So I'm just going to right click, click on that tab, backspace it out and then just put in Zyovo and there we go to see if it looks good just click the play button over here and it looks good to me so now the final thing we have to do is just render this intro so we're going to click on the camera icon over here you can see the preset so it's going to be in 1080p I am going to click the folder button here the change where I want the actual intro to save to so in this case I'm just going to choose my desktop and put it in a folder called template and then click accept and over here I am going to select the output version as an AVI raw and once that is complete I can click on render render animation and it's going to render the intro frame by frame now this may take a while depending on the speed of your computer so just check back in about an hour or so and it should all be rendered in the folder that you chose so yeah once it's done rendering just make sure that it actually saved and it's working and if it is congratulations your intro is now done so if this tutorial helped you out be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out